Um, I'm going to explain inequalities and interval notations in this video. There are four different types of inequality uh, symbols. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. So, for example, we have two less than three, five greater than, uh, say, one. And we could also use maybe variables like x less than or equal to two. When we write this, I mean x could be two or anything less than uh, two. Okay, now we have the number line here. Uh, every real number has a place on the number line. For example, here is two and here is three. And the way we write numbers on the number line is that uh, the bigger numbers are on the right and smaller numbers are on the left. Now, 2 is less than 3 because 2 is on the left and 3 is on the right. If you look at the negative numbers here, for example, negative 2 and negative 3, negative 3 is on the left and two, negative 2 is on the right. So that means negative 3 is less than negative 2. Now, compare this with positive numbers. A uh, 3 is greater than 2. So, it, this is in fact an important observation. Uh, if we change, if we change signs, then we get to reverse the direction of inequalities. So, we reverse inequalities. And we can see that, we can see that from this picture as well. So here is what's happening when you change sign. Uh, 2 is going to negative 2, and 3 is going to negative 3. What's happening is that we reflect these numbers to the opposite side of the number 0. So this is like a mirror, and what was on the left now is on the right. What was on the right now is on the left. The same principle applies even if we have a variable. So, suppose x is less than or equal to 2, then if we change the signs of both sides, we get to have negative x greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, now let's talk about interval notation. Uh, here we have several inequalities, and if you look at the first example, it says 1 is less than x, and x is less than 3. So, x is somewhere between 1 and 3. And on the real number line, we have x here somewhere between uh, 1 and 3, okay? Now, we can represent this part of the number line using interval notation conveniently. We simply write the boundary numbers and uh, use parentheses. And let's say this represents the set of numbers between 1 and 3. Now, let's look at the second example. We have x between negative 2 and 0. But this time, x to be equal to negative 2 or 0. So, the boundary numbers are included. So, here is negative 2, and here is 0. And then, x is somewhere between negative 2 and 0, but it could possibly be equal to the boundary numbers, and we represent it using squared brackets. And in interval notation, uh, we write it this way, it's the same way, the boundary numbers, but this time we use square brackets. In the third example, we have a mixed inequality. On the left-hand side, there's no equality sign. On the right-hand side, we have equality sign. So this is mixed notation, and we can mix the parentheses and squared brackets, okay? So here is neg negative 10, and here is 10, and x is between these two numbers, but uh, negative 10 is excluded, and 10 is included. And this is written in interval notation like this. Negative 10, 10, and uh, parenthesis on the left, and bracket on the right. Okay, now what if, what if there is only one boundary, only one number? Suppose, for example, x is greater than or equal to 5. So here is 5, and x is on the right-hand side of 5. And we have equality sign here, so we're going to use bracket here. Then what, what goes on the right? Well, in, in interval notation, we're going to write it like bracket 5, and what comes here? We're going to use infinity symbol. So infinity means that uh, there is no 
no right boundary. Okay? And because infinity is not a number, we can't use a bracket. We have to use parentheses. Similarly, if you look at the next example, we have x less than or equal to 3. So here is 3. And x is somewhere on the left, left hand side of the number 3. So in this case, we have to use uh, negative infinity and round parentheses to indicate that there is no left limit. And this is how you write uh, interval notation. Now in the next example, we see two inequalities, x less than 3 or x greater than 5. So if we draw the interval on the, the number line, here is the picture. Uh, 3 here, 5 here. If x is less than 3, is the interval on the left hand side of 3. And if x is greater than 5, x is on the right hand side of 5. So it consists of two intervals. The first interval, the left hand side interval is from negative infinity to 3. And the interval on the right hand side is 5 to infinity. And to say that x is in the first interval or the second interval, we use this union symbol, the union. This is called the union symbol. And it means that x is either on the first interval or the second interval.